All right, we now shift focus to Mombasa County where the National Construction Authority is currently holding the International Construction Research Conference and Exhibition which has been slated for the 25th to 27th of this month and today is day two of that particular conference. Our very own O'Brien Kimani is there for us. O'Brien, today is day two of the NCA conference. What do you have for us? Dorian Arange, thank you very much indeed. Yes, it's true, we are here at the coast uh, attending the field International Construction Research uh, Conference and Exhibition, which is being hosted uh, by the National Construction Authority. We are inside a very interesting uh, innovation here. This is an incident response unit vehicle. It is fitted with multiple uh, machines. I'm joined by the CEO or the Executive Director of the National Construction Authority. This is Engineer uh, Akech. He's going to explain to us what is this and what are all these machines for. And of course, we're going to do a catch-up of what has been happening in the last two days. Thank you very much, Engineer, for joining us um, uh, on KBC. First of all, help us understand, uh, what is this truck for? Uh, thank you, Gwen, and uh, thank you, uh, for, uh, KBC, for this opportunity. As you have rightfully put it, this is a, a truck-mounted uh, laboratory, uh, fully kitted with uh, equipment and tools that are used for testing um, materials uh, in construction, um, mostly uh, uh, to uh, help us uh, detect if there are any uh, quality issues in terms of defects, should there be any suspicion mm. or materials uh, is reported to be suspect, or during our routine quality assurance uh, inspection, uh, we come across uh, material that uh, may not look uh, uh, of good quality, then this is what we use. So basically, this uh, is um, an equipment we have recently um, procured um, through the support of our development partners, uh, through the ministry, uh, in support of our uh, quality assurance activities. It's going basically to enhance our capacity. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, at the beginning, three of these across the country, mm -hmm. and we brought this uh, here in uh, uh, the conference, um, uh, International Construction Research Conference in Mombasa, just to showcase, alongside the paper presentations and uh, the exhibitions, also to showcase some of the new innovations we have been able to bring in as National Construction Authority to be able to address issues of incidents of uh, poor quality, which sometimes lead to uh, buildings collapsing or structures collapsing. So inside this um, uh, equipment or this truck, we have a range of equipment that can be used for what we call non-destructive testing. Mm -hmm. A building is already standing, for instance, and a uh, uh, the quality material is looking suspect. We can be able to use uh, this particular um, um, laboratory, mm -hmm. which is actually an incident response unit. Because uh, once a, a, a complaint comes, it can come through a complaint or through our routine checks, we are able to, for instance, check um, one of the key construction materials is concrete. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a concrete... This looks like a water bottle. Yeah, actually, it's called just not. That's a hammer. Mm -hmm. It's a concrete testing hammer. Basically, it's a very simple uh, uh, tool uh, that for purpose of che checking the, the quality of concrete. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, if this floor was concrete, okay, you just do this, then uh, you're able to... Uh, it comes out, then you can actually check... Then you give a reading. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then from the reading, which is gives here. Um, you, you, are, you are able to you are able to take that um, interpret uh, after entering that data mm -hmm. into the computer. It will give you the reading of that concrete. And it must produce that scaring sound. Yes, and you must do it many times uh, so that you can <laughs> compare. Yeah. <laughs> so this can instantly tell you whether the concrete in that building concrete mm -hmm. is basically um, um, a composite material made of uh, sand, sandarawe, cement and ballast, and of course you had water and mix it together. Mm -hmm. After there's already had it in a building, we will have used this to check whether it has met the requirements. So it will be able to tell you whether the, the ratios were correct? Whether the ratios were correct, it will tell you whether it will withstand the ultimate strength that was beside for that building. Mm -hmm. It will really help you address the issues of mitigation. Should there be, uh, uh, that test reveals that the concrete is meeting the desired quality, the strength that was desired, mm -hmm. that was designed and desired, mm -hmm. then you are able to advise uh, the, 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 the building owner that you must take these uh, uh, measures to strengthen 
Oh, you have to do this to make the building uh, back to strong. So what is this that looks like a toy? This particular one, mm -hmm. uh, I like the way you're describing them. You say that the water bottle is a toy. Now, the water bottle is a hammer for concrete testing. Mm -hmm. This particular one is also for, in most in concrete uh, structures, we normally have reinforcement inside. You know, we call them reinforcement. Many people call them uh, wires, mm -hmm. the bars, the chumas, no? Mm -hmm. The D10s, the, the D8, the D10. The Y used to be before. Mm -hmm. We moved to these. Now we have gone to these. Yeah, the, this is the diameter. So mm -hmm. the D10 is a 10 millimeter diameter bar, the enforcement bar, 12 millimeter, uh, 16, 20, 25, 32, even up to 40. This particular one, because the concrete is ready in a building, and you don't want to destroy to know what the size and type of quality uh, of, of, of steel used there. This is now what you use to scan. So if this was concrete again, you would actually run it on a surface, or you do like this. Mm -hmm. So it, and uh, when you put it on, because it uses a, a battery, so it's coming on. Mm -hmm. So you run like this. Every time there's a, here there's no steel. This it, is not concrete. So if it's concrete, and the way the uh, first thing you see, where there is a, a steel is a T, so it produces a sound, and also tells you the diameter. Wow. Like that. So you can know how many steel is here, or in this direction, mm -hmm. how many are there, and what's the diameter. And now you can check against the design, which is the drawing, mm -hmm. how much was designed to do. And you were telling me that with this kind of a system yeah. here, you don't need to go to the office to write a report. This is uh, an incident response unit, which means you deploy it to where there is a, an incident that needs to, uh, test needs to be done, and uh, take a test, produce the results, and then prepare a report and then send back to the office for purposes of the compilation of the report. And you can use this particular mm -hmm. uh, uh, quickly to address if there was to be an issue, it will not be there. Again, even for new construction works, um, somebody may want a quick check to be done. Again, we'll be able to deploy this and go and carry out checks and tests and then be able to. Test. So we don't have to um, actually wait to pick them, to take them to the lab somewhere. So this is what goes to the site. It's not the, you going to site to pick samples and take to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. So this is a fully kitted mobile laboratory with all the equipment.